What's up guys, I'm Josh and I lift things, and I'm here to talk about the somatotypes, ectomorphs, mesomorphs, and endomorphs. They don't exist, video done. But for those that don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain. In today's terms, the ectomorph is the notorious hard gainer. The tall, skinny, lanky kid with no broad shoulders, small wrists, no bitches. The ectomorph is the fat dude, short, stocky, thick. Meanwhile, the mesomorph is the Chad, the high school bully, the dude who's jacked but still lean, nice broad shoulders, and is everything we aspire to be. But where do these terms even come from? Well, we have to go all the way back to the 1940s and talk to a Dr. William Herbert Sheldon. Dr. Sheldon created this gross generalization in order to predict someone's intelligence, aptitude, and the likelihood to commit crimes. Oh, and did I mention he was a literal eugenicist? In his book, Atlas of Men, he basically tries to recreate phrenology, or the measurement of lumps in the skull to predict intelligence, also known as one of the methods that racists use to put down African Americans, to further pseudoscience to bigots everywhere. He says that ectomorphs, or skinny guys, or low testosterone beta cocks, I may be embellishing a little bit by the way, that mesomorphs are thick skinned and have good posture, and that endomorphs have trouble losing weight, so I guess this guy doesn't believe in the basics of thermodynamics some doctor. And not to mention, his assistant who helped him write his magnum opus said that he falsified most of the data in his book. So there's that. Now, revisions and improved upon versions of somatotypes are still used by some researchers. They're not used to judge someone's likelihood of criminality, but are instead used to make predictions of overall body shape. This makes sense and is obvious to anyone who actually thinks about it. I'm sure we know aggressive skinny guys, smart jocks, and any mix of any type of person, and they are all just as likely to be successful to commit crime or anything else. The biggest issue, besides just the blatant racism of course, is that it tends to imply that someone can't make changes to their physique. Of course, if you're underweight, you can build muscle. If you're overweight, you can lose fat. Obviously, you need to utilize resistant training and eating enough calories and protein. And obviously, some people have harder times due to genetics. But that doesn't mean that these body shapes exist or that it is impossible to change the way your body looks. If you're a hard gainer, you're just a liar. And if you're a hard loser, you're just a liar. Calories in versus calories out. Again, genetics will dictate how well you respond to weightlifting, but that doesn't mean that you can't lift weights. It doesn't mean you can't build muscle. So stop saying, I'm an ectomorph. You're just skinny. Stop saying, I'm an endomorph. You're just overweight. Stop making excuses that you are genetically doomed to a life of having a subpar physique. Spend less time parroting the views of a literal eugenicist and spend some more time in the gym. Guys, that's the video. Super quick, hopefully it helped you out. The next time you hear someone say this, let them know that they're a racist. Just fucking kidding, do not do that. If you like this style of quick content, you can follow all these socials and join the Discord. Links are in the description. I post exercise content twice a day, every single day. If you like this video, leave a comment. It really helps out the channel. You can then like and subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video. Share this to a hard gainer or your fat friend. Maybe they'll learn a thing or two. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.